Welcome, my dear students. أهلا ومرحبا بكم في قناة English Live. Chapter three. Joe Green's lesson. Two weeks later, Joe took me out to take a message to a neighbor. On the way home, we passed a carriage that was full of heavy metal bars. It was taking them to a nearby factory. The wheels of the carriage could not move because the carriage was so heavy, and there was thick mud on the road. Two horses were trying to pull the carriage, but they could not. The driver was hitting them hard with a whip. بعد بضعة أسابيع جو جرين أخذ بلاك بيوتي عشان يوصل رسالة لأحد الجيران وفي طريقهم إلى البيت وجد سائق يضرب بشدة خيلين مش قادرين يجرهم عربة محملة بقطبان معدنية ثقيلة بالإضافة إن القطبان كانت ثقيلة جدا على الخيول تو هورسز Stop, please," said Joe. "The wheels will not move in this mud." "Be quiet," said the driver rudely. "I can help you take some of the metal from the carriage, then it will move," said Joe. "Go away," said the driver. I know what I'm doing. He continued to hit the horses. Joe quickly rode me to the factory and found the manager. Joe told him what the man was doing. Thank you, Joe," said the manager. "I'll deal with the man. Will you tell the police what you saw?" Yes, I will," said Joe. جو لم يعجبه الأمر، فقال للسائق توقف لو سمحت. العجلات لن تتحرك في في هذا الطين. فالسائق رد بوقاحة اسكت. فجو عرض خدمة قال ممكن أخذ بعض القطبان المعدنية علشان العربية أو العربة تقدر تتحرك. فالسائق لم يعجبه هذا الكلام. قال له أنا أعلم ما أفعل. واستمر في ضرب الخيلين. فجوجرين ذهب إلى المصنع لمقابلة المدير لكي يحكي له ما حدث. والمدير استمع له وقال هل ستخبر الشرطة؟ فجوجرين قال له نعم. The manager went to find the carriage with the metal, and Joe went home. He told John what happened. You did the right thing. Said John. We heard later that the police asked Joe about what he had seen. Joe explained very well, and when the police saw the poor horses, they sent the driver to prison for two or three months. It was wonderful to see the change that came over Joe. He learned from his mistakes. To become a very good worker, John was now very pleased with him. You look taller than you did last week," said John. Soon, Joe was singing happily again every day. Unfortunately, Mrs. Gordon became ill again in the years that followed. The doctor said that she should live in a warmer climate. 
we heard that Squire and Mrs. Gordon were going to leave England. Everybody was very sad. All Squire Gordon's horses were sold to new owners. Ginger and I were the last horses to leave Birtwick Park, and one morning we took Squire Gordon and his wife to the railway station. We never saw them again. في السنة وانت التالية زوجة سكوير جوردون تعبت المرة الثانية وقال الطبيب يجب أن تعيش في مكان أكثر دفئا وبلاك بيوتي سمع أنهم سيغادران إنجلترا وكان الجميع حزين جدا Ginger and I found out that we were going to live at Earlshall Park, the home of a rich earl called Smythe. John took us there the next day and told the new helper, a man called York, that we were the best horses they could have. Then John left too. I felt very sad to see him go. I did not realize that my new home with Earl and Lady Smythe would bring new difficulties for Ginger and me. Black Beauty بيقول اكتشفت أنا وجينجر بأننا سنعيش في مكان اسمه إيرليشال بارك وده المكان اللي كان عايش فيه إيرل سميث وعنده مساعد اسمه يورك فجون أخذ Black Beauty وجينجر في اليوم الثاني إلى إيرليشال بارك وأخبر يورك بأنهما أفضل الخيول التي يمكن أن يحصلوا عليها